Hey everyone, this is Mick from Brutalitopia here. We are in Chicago right now outside the very tiny Burlington Bar here, and I am here with Steve and Evan from Mouth of the Architect doing a impromptu tandem interview, if you will. <laughs> so gentlemen, um, you guys just came off a, a big tour with Intronaut and Scale of Summit, and now you're kind of doing a few little one-off shows here and there, just kind of how that whole stretch has been going for you guys and how just everything in general has been. Everything's been fucking great, man. Like the the tour with Internet was awesome. Every show was was well attended and was good clubs. And uh, you know we had a really good time because those guys are like our buddies from like you know forever. And uh, you know inter- or the the European part was awesome too. We had a new driver we worked with, Mike, and he was super cool. And we all got along really well and had a good time. And we've only been home for like two weeks, and now we're back out just doing like some some weekends. We're about to wrap it up for the year, and I think we're all ready for a break. Sure. Definitely, yeah. Ready for a break. Yep. <laughs> I think what was cool about the um, Intronaut Scale the Summit tour was there were probably some people out there who were fans of Intronaut Scale the Summit, and then people who were fans of Mouth of the Architect and Intronaut. But there's a lot of crossover, you know, people getting turned on Scale the Summit and turned on to Mouth of the Architect. So I think that was pretty cool. And this year, of course, you guys just recently released your... Uh, new album dawning which kind of is a big album for you guys because not only is it your first full length in a long time but it also is kind of like a 10th anniversary almost you know album for the band just kind of your thoughts on the new album how it's been received and whatever oh it's been received really well i can't even believe how well it's been received like i mean we never really have any expectations but like when we made it and we sent it to the label we were like dude i think this is a really good record you know i think we did i think we did a good job here and then the record label dude said the same thing. And so, uh, you know, we just waited. We just waited. We booked our tours. We waited for it to come out. And then, you know, all these reviews that are coming up, like the, the Pitchfork review and, like, all these little online things. And everything's been, like, surprisingly good. Very well received. So, I mean, we're just kind of riding that wave right now for the time being, you know, do, doing some touring. And I think we're going to try to write some new shit this winter and just keep it going and do a new one either either next year or the following year depending on how long another it all takes but, yeah another full length probably thoughts yeah. <laughs> I mean, you pretty much covered it right <laughs> um, for you guys uh, especially Evan, when you mentioned uh, the Intronaut Scale Summit Tour is kind of like a nice eclectic mix of fans because you guys aren't exactly stylistically to the same point exactly right. um, you guys are kind of more on the more ambient kind of sludgier side kind of right. What would you guys attribute as being, like, huger influences for you guys when you got together? It's like, okay, who do we kind of want to sound like as, like, a starting point? We always want to sound like Pink Floyd and Black Sabbath. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's ever, like, a conscious effort to sound like anybody. That's just naturally we what all, came Yeah, out. we all have a huge, you know, array of music that we listen to. Mm-hmm. You know, and in the van, there's hardly ever any, like, heavy music going on. It's always, like... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there is heavy music, there but, is, but it's just not as much not, as people would think. It's an probably. extremely, like you said, eclectic mix Diverse. of music. Yeah. yeah, it's not. You're not gonna get any any sort of one thing going on in our in our van. We listen to everything from jazz to rap to like classic rock mm-hmm. to you know fucking black metal. Like Soul, it's just you know, <laughs> anything. Marvin Gaye, you know, it's all. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. When we when we write though, I don't know. I don't know what the influences are. Most of the time, we're not even, like, listening to, like, the stuff that's coming out. We're just, like, like, if I start writing riffs or whatever to bring to the table, I don't even listen to music. I just sit in the fucking studio and just start rocking and just writing riffs. So I wouldn't say that there's anything that really influences, like, when we start writing together. But what I said initially, like, we've been talking about this recently. Like, what are we going to do for the next record? It's, it's going to be straight up fucking Pink Floyd. Like, we're just going to go <laughs> just spacy. Throw everyone off. Yeah, just totally fucking spacey, I think. We'll see. We'll see how it ends up, but got some ideas um probably go in a more conceptual direction not like a full-on concept like album. yeah well not like a full-on concept album okay. but um definitely have like a larger picture in mind even though i think dawning overall has a pretty good picture you know when you listen to it through the entire length of the album sure whereas um you know sometimes songs just get thrown together on an album that aren't necessarily cohesive sure just but um, I think I think uh, we had a lot more time this time to work more stuff time. out. Yeah, and um, the band. I think we're all on the same point, you know, in our lives. Fuck yeah, bro! And we just cannot get away from those bikers but, tonight. But really, uh, 
the, the new record is going to be about unicorns <laughs> and, and okay. aliens. That's a good concept. <laughs> nice, nice starting point for and you. The people that, people that live in the center of the earth. <laughs> Interesting. He's Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Um, I know you said this will be kind of like your last little hurrah for the year. Um, are there any? Are you even thinking about stuff next year in terms of tours, or uh, is well, it too early to tell? It's or? too early to tell. Really, do anything right now. We've already had some offers. Uh, we we're already talking to a couple different like booking agencies about doing some stuff. But I think we want to keep things shorter next year. Like going out on the road for two two months plus at a time, just like destroys our financial state. You know, like we have no money and. You know, we all had to like basically leave our jobs and our women and everything like that for so long. It's kind of like maybe next year we'll do like you know, ten day long tour here and like you know two weeks here and three weeks here rather than just be like oh let's fucking leave for like three months you know. Sure. sure. So I don't know. I don't know who we're gonna tour with exactly, or when it's even gonna be. But you know, like I said, we're just gonna spend the winter writing, planning, and uh, hit it hit it again next year. So. Here's a good one. Who would you ideally like to tour with if you could pick, like, two or three bands that you could put a bill together with? Pink Floyd and Black <laughs> Sabbath. <laughs> Should have seen it coming. Um, I, would, I would love to go on the road with Intronaut again. Yeah. Those are our dudes. Yeah. Uh, we've actually talked to talked about doing a tour with, like, Yob. That'd be pretty oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I don't know if it's ever. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. We've actually talked to them about it, and they seem to be down, but it's, like, a matter of, you know, planning and getting it together and... But we talked about that. We talked about going back out with Entronaut. We talked about going out with um, uh, a band, yes, from Seattle called Samothrace. It's like a buddies band. Um, some other. Uh, there's just a bunch of stuff, you know, kind of been talked about and in the works, or you know, I don't know if in the works is the right thing to say, but ta- been talked about. <laughs> yeah. And just nothing is set in stone right now. So I, I don't know. Who else would I like to tour with? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess time will tell. Yeah. yeah, we just like to we just like to hang out and drink and party. So whoever is with us, as long as as long as they're down to fucking hang out and drink and party, we're happy. There you go. Um, well, I always like to leave on more kind of lighter notes for the interviews. Um, tonight, of course, was hard to get me out because the ever illustrious MTV VMAs were on this evening. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> really. <laughs> and uh, NSYNC was going to come back. It was going to be a huge deal. Um, I'm missing in sync right now. <laughs> um, say hypothetically that MTV somehow said, "Okay, I mean, obviously there's like the Golden God Awards and stuff like that, but okay, metal, we'll give you like your own award show for the evening." What would you say the category would be that Mouth of the Architect would not only be nominated for but would win? Worst band ever. <laughs> Who would win that category? That one. Uh, or you could win more awards, you know, too. Dr- if they- drunkest, <laughs> drunkest, rowdiest band ever. No, we kind of recovered from that these days. <laughs> Latest band ever? That <laughs> might. We're always late every night. Um, I don't know, man. That's a weird question. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know, know. Like, how to categorize. Like, if this was going to be like a category, like, I don't even know how to, like, categorize what we well, do. I mean, it's it seems like, like MTV doesn't. Not- yeah, do much not, better job know. at categorizing right. relatively, you know. <laughs> um, I have no idea. Beardiest band. Beardiest. Hairiest. That's a good category. Hairiest. Hairiest. <laughs> Shortest. <laughs> you got a lot of ones you can be nominated for. Yeah, yeah, there you looking go. Looking forward to it. <laughs> well, guys, thanks so much, and uh, hope everything goes well for you. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah,